Good morning. Is yes. it okay with the mic? Yeah. So after everything you heard about the serious things you can do with ADA, now something totally unserious. Hack. What's hack? You have the choice, hack ADA compiler, hello world ADA compiler, hackers ADA compiler, so you get it. It's not a real ADA compiler, at least at the time being. You don't know in 10 years or whatever. So it's experimental. It's very likely to be forever incomplete and very incomplete. So what's the goal? The goal is to have um, an ADA system for beginners or for people who are more used to script languages. You see, you have your bit of code, you punch a key, you get a result, something like that. <coughs> but it also can be useful for real ADA uh, developers, if you start a little piece of code, a little algorithm, um, you want to, to have something simple to play with, and then you can port it to GNAT or whatever when it becomes more complex. Fortunately, uh, Hack already existed in another form, uh, so it was already done, but um, it was a dead uh, project, but the idea was to leverage this work. And actually, it's a renov renovation work, so <laughs> like uh, pimp my ride for the, the old cars. Uh, so you, you had something which was written in Pascal. It ran only on old system that nobody uh, knows uh, anymore. And the main problem was it was written in Pascal. Uh, so it means it was written in dialects, actually two dialects. You have two versions of this uh, small ADA, which is the ancestor of Hack. Two versions which are incompatible. And so you, you need to, to do something like that. So the idea was to port this project uh, to a language which is very portable, which is time resistant because it's a long-term project. And the ideal choice, of course, is ADA. And the consequence of it, you have an, a full ADA in ADA compiler down to the code generation. A bit of history behind, so you see it's a very old project, uh, or you have a long history, but uh, it happens more and more. <laughs> um, so it began with a special Pascal compiler, a Pascal in Pascal, written by the, the inventor of Pascal himself. And then in 86, there was something called CoPascal with the introduction of coroutines. And someone had the idea of porting this small, uh, this uh, CoPascal to the ADA syntax and to the ADA tasking for concurrency. And then what happened? Uh, DOS and the old Mac OS uh, disappeared and the project as, as well uh, was more or less dead. But you could find it on internet and I also got some copies per, uh, through email, so it was a kind of archaeological <laughs> work, basically. So uh, 20 years ago already, uh, I tried to uh, translate uh, small ADA, the code, into ADA. And the main roadblock was there, were, there are plenty of uh, with statement in Pascal, which makes abstraction of a variable of uh, type, uh, record type. And the translator needs to know, uh, 
what to do with that. So I had to improve the P2 ADA translator. Actually, it's kind of uh, almost a Pascal compiler hiding, and it understands these uh, statements. And a few years later, after some manual work, uh, finally, the at least hello world, but also more complex things like uh, recursion and uh, nesting and so on uh, are working. I will demonstrate later. So now you have the, the long history behind. Now we have an even longer future <laughs> before. Uh, <coughs> so you have two steps, more or less parallel, but the most urgent thing is to get rid of uh, the, the Pascalism some uh, rules that are absolutely not uh, ADA, uh, not ADA at all. Uh, typically, um, you, you have in Pascal and in, I think, almost every language except ADA, uh, silent um, numerical type conversions. Like uh, you have an integer and suddenly it's converted uh, magically into a float, and uh, you have a float type magically converted into another float type, and you have roundings, and uh, so it's a nice feature of uh, many languages except Ada. It's nice, but it's actually a bad idea. It's a, it's a cause of a good portion of bugs in every software uh, you, you made. That's only an example, but you have some Pascal things uh, uh, remaining, so they need to be removed. And the third step is to uh, increase uh, this small um, subset, because hack currently, um, as you see here, uh, features only the, let's say, the Pascal subset. But it's already not too bad. You can already do uh, cool things with that. So you, you can define your own types. Uh, you have nesting <coughs> and um, recursion. But you don't have yet the probably the most useful um, feature of ADA, which is the modularity, the packages. And also, you don't have generics, and the list is uh, <laughs> down to here because uh, every, almost everything is missing. So it's really work in progress. Um, some metrics about hack the whole compiler and the virtual machine interpreter, it needs two seconds depending on the machine, uh, to compile with GNAT. GNAT is the free ADA compiler you heard about uh, just before. The build time of, uh, let's say you have a piece of code, uh, you play with hack, it's less than one hundredth of a second. So it really compiles, and typically a beginner or a script language user just doesn't know what the compiler is, whatever. They just the, the, this person wants to, to to just run the the thing. It runs wi without uh, even it doesn't notice there is a compilation behind. Um, it's completely portable, so it's really uh, you can compile it on a Linux, whatever system that's uh, leveraging the portability of ADA. Uh, so no, no conditional, whatever, no, no special code. Uh, the source, um, ADA source input to hack can be a file, but it can be actually any stream. So you could have a zip archive, for instance, with a, with a library and com compile all that, or uh, editor data or web stream, you can, you could have, a, you could put hack on a web server. Currently, the target, there is only one target, it's a virtual machine, but 
you can uh, do everything with uh, with hack uh, i mean it's open source it's free you can uh, implement your own targets uh, ideally through an abstraction so where uh, do you find hack it's on sourceforge on github uh, you can google it and you you find it easily and there's uh, i can mention two uh, open source uh, uh, projects. One is Lea, is, uh, is uh, an editor with an EDA focus, which embeds uh, this compiler, this hack compiler as well. But you could also embed into your uh, editor, whatever, it's uh, all open. And I mentioned Pascal to EDA, if you, so the, this translator, which was the basis of translating small ADA into hack. Now, if I have uh, just a little, some minutes, I can, I show you a bit uh, how it works. <coughs> so let's see, uh, I'm just completely beginning uh, with a blank page. Okay, I have a, a few notions of the syntax, but uh, let's try. Uh, okay, something like that, and okay, so let's try. Oh, I forgot. Okay, instead of text IO, which is familiar, uh, I have a special package, so that's something that also uh, there is a real uh, hack pack for a real ADA compiler like Ignaton and so on. So you can run the same program with hack and a serious ADA compiler. Okay, uh, but I get my hello. Oh, <coughs> and it's too trivial. I put a loop. I forget the end loop and oh, yeah, missing closing loop. Okay, Oof. and perhaps I, I just display something with the number. So here you go, you, you have a I square and so on and so on. Um, here, yeah, uh, a real um, a real uh, use I had, I, I had <laughs> to, given year, month, and day, uh, I had to, to give the, um, have an algorithm that gives the number of days since uh, date, but uh, since uh, 1901. <laughs> it's for uh, dates in uh, spreadsheets. We, they begin uh, begin around this date, so so it, it's a uh, small uh, snippet you, I've developed uh, with hack, and so you have uh, the result. And so it is typically something you can already do with hack. Here you have a diabolic <laughs> diabolical. Uh, a recursive function uh, by a mathematician called uh, Ackerman. And yeah, so you have, uh, it's very deeply uh, recursive. And you, s you have the same with Gnat, so, uh, so uh, the same piece of code, I run it. It's a bit slower, of course, with um, so it needs to be built, and uh, yeah, it's a, you, you see the advantage of having uh, something perhaps faster, like a uh, hack for small piece of code. So you don't, perhaps a beginner would be afraid by all this compile, bind, and link, and whatever, and so you have also the same results. Yeah, so questions? Yeah. Did you already try 
try to create web services with the other web server uh, within the company? So, web services, no, I didn't try uh, so far. But you can plug any stream to, to that, so it's feasible, but uh, yeah, I didn't try. In order to create the idea, would be to use it as a, 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 web, in a web services approach? Like yeah, yeah. Micro services. yeah that, that, that's good. It could be a good idea, but uh, perhaps uh, at the moment the, the quality is really bad with, uh, with hack, it's a bit it's still a bit buggy or not real ADAS. Uh, so it's, I would first address that, the quality issues, and then put as a web service because uh, it would be a bad um, promotion for ADA. <laughs> Uh, so for runtime, runtime errors, uh, uh, presently there is absolutely uh, nothing, I think, no exceptions and so on. So either, perhaps it could be good for uh, a target with, where you don't want exceptions, for instance, perhaps, or very small <coughs> uh, embedded, you see, compact thing, or you, uh, uh, we, we would need to, to add exceptions to, to hack, yeah. So currently, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> there is no, no, uh, no exception. Or disappointing or not, depending on... Yeah. Uh, how about uh, trying to... Uh, can you make... Uh, you said something about that on the app that you could make use of the console for that. Could we, that be used to prove that the compiler works properly for a certain piece of code? No, no, the, the, the idea, I mean, now it's uh, the, the, the common denominator is very small, but the idea is to increase this, this uh, common part, the, to increase the subset. So it would be, even if it is a very small subset, it would be real ADA, it would be the completely compatible. It's not the idea of uh, making a branch of ADA or whatever. It's better to, to, to have something that you, you can use in a different system, in uh, object ADA, GNAT, whatever. Yeah. I was thinking more of using it as a way of proving that uh, the hack compiler works properly for a piece of code. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, I, 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 do, I, I do that uh, already to, to, uh, to, to check. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, yeah. It's also useful for that. For, for debugging a uh, hack, basically. Yeah. When it compiles, it uses all the cores of the processor or just one core? For, uh, just one core is used for compilation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's very quick. <laughs> Uh, currently, it's um, using uh, only uh, it's an ad hoc uh, parser, so it originates from this uh, Pascal parser. It's recursive, uh, and so on. It's uh, so it's an own parser basically. It's a, a big piece of code. <laughs> Other questions? Anyone? Yeah. I think it might be reasonable to provide this also as a package so that it has the potential to be used for dynamic compilation in some environment. Yeah, so why not? That controls all the ah, yeah. parsing and whatever, and then the compiler proper to be just a package that you use and that you can incorporate whenever you need ADA compilation yeah. in your application. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a possibility. I, I think it's really open. You, you can. Uh, <laughs> Other questions? <laughs> then, yeah. <laughs>